Hello, particles are always fun and today we ask the question can particles have goals? Yes they can. Can they have more than one goal? Of course they can. Okay, let's go for well a NURPS circle, duplicate it, scale it up a little bit, select both of them, go to loft, so we're creating a surface from the both of them, we delete the original circles, we don't need them anymore, we have now our surface now, we move it up slightly to the back and rotate it like this, it will look down on the world. This will be our emitter and we will emit objects in just a second. Um, but first we go to N particles which you find under FX N particles and we want to check the create options and as you see I've set the create options to cloud which cannot be rendered by Arnold by the way but with Maya renderer of course. Um, because uh, the end particles are just from the past into the future and Arnold just stepped in a couple of years ago and uh, they can render balls and uh, points uh, but uh, Arnold cannot render uh, cloud. But uh, let's select cloud here, nothing has happened so far. Then end particles again and we emit from an object, from the selected object. So that's just fine and this is what we get. Let's um, extend the, the range, the simulation range to 400 say, so we see a little bit more of what's happening here. You see the particles start white and then they turn uh, blue. Uh, I think it's a nice task for you to find out where the shading ramp is which creates the blue and uh, turn it into red for example or yellow. Uh, whatever. When you deal with particles you have always at least two nodes which are of concern for you. One is the emitter. The emitter is uh, our lofted surface and it has an own emitter node here in the attribute editor. Here you have things like um, transform attributes not so important. Uh, they are um, emitted from a surface for example and the rate 1000 per second. Let's leave it like this. Um, here you have the distance, so you could uh, change the distance where they start uh, departing from that object and here have you, you have the speed. Now let's increase the speed so they fly a little bit faster than this, than before. So what, the, what they do, they just flow away from that ring, inside it's empty as you see, and they're building a uh, sort of a cloud structure here. Now we want to introduce a goal. Let's go to polygon modeling and create a sphere which we will move over here, over here and scale it up. This is going to be our goal for the uh, particles. So the, currently they're flowing down like this, pretty boring, uh, but still nice to watch. So now let's select the particles here in the outliner or in the viewport and uh, after selecting the particles we select the sphere which is our goal which is, will become our goal in a second. So end particles and up here we have goal. Now it's a goal and um, the effect now is pretty frustrating as you will see in a second because the particles shoot out so fast because they desperately want to get as soon as possible to the goal. Here you have step sizes uh, and uh, overshootings because they shoot through that sphere to the back and then they want to come back uh, etc. That's all very dramatic and not really what we want. So now we deal with the particles not the emission. The emission is a matter of the past. They're emitting 1000 per second. They're living forever and um, uh, what we are interested in now is the N particle and here we have um, 
goal weights and objects. And here is a goal smoothness and this is the goal weight for the sphere. Well, let's change things while the animation runs. So I reduce the goal weight now to a very small amount. Now the particles shoot off from the emitter, get sort of close to the to the sphere and then circle around the sphere like a comet which is a nice effect let's go to 1000 frames now and they penetrate that sphere because that's their ultimate goal they're not uh, the goal is not the surface it's the center of the of that object now but um, that doesn't matter for now because uh, it, we, we found out how to really uh, approach our goal. Now let's introduce a second goal. That's the question we had. Let's uh, go uh, create a cylinder for example and move it here and scale it down so it's a small cylinder. Again the same process. We select the particle and the cylinder afterwards and go to end particles goal and now uh, the particles will try to find the cylinder same thing as before and when you go to particles now under the goal weights and object section you have uh, two parts which are the two um, goals we have so one is set to 0 0.05 currently that's that sphere that's because the particles are not really interested in getting there anymore so dramatically because they're forced to go to the cylinder which is has a goal weight of 0 0.5 if we reduce this to zero the particles will go smoothly with this small amount here to the sphere now um, when we play with the pa parameters here we can change the particles behavior so they go from one side to another and of course we can do this with several goals as many as we like and finally what I want to show you is what happens if we make this um, a hard uh, body, a surface which the particles cannot penetrate. Oddly enough we don't find that command to make it hard, to make it col a collider as it's, uh, uh, as it's called under particles. There's no collider thing here um, other than down here in the legacy particles but uh, we find them under end cloth which is the neighbor here so to so to say we create a passive collider it doesn't matter where in what kind of menu it is because all the n things n constraint n hair etc uh, have the same gravity and uh, dynamics force uh, under the hood so uh, let's create a passive collider from that sphere and um, of course we need the particles to go to the sphere in order to see the effect you remember how to do this you go to the n particle and then you have a goal and weights section and of course now we need to make this bigger and this may be zero for now so the particles will go to the sphere too slow and now they will touch the surface and distribute around the surface here under the in the playback settings you should if you get other dynamics here too fast or too slow or whatever or stuttering effects uh, use the right mouse click uh, right mouse button and go to playback speed play every frame maximum real time so the animation doesn't play too fast but it uh, sometimes may uh, play back very slow slower than real time because there's a, lo a lot of calculations involved here okay that's all for now